Thank you guys for checking this out. I'm going to show you how to build a 13 speed back box from start to finish. Uh, part numbers are ahead in this video. Thank you for watching. K3341, that's going to be your O ring kit for the 13 speed. out of here. Okay, so your counter shafts, you're gonna be timing those in two different places when you're building just the back box. You're gonna be timing your counter shafts up here and down here. These two marks are your reference marks to start your timing. You're gonna, you're gonna mark these two teeth all the way up. Just like this. Lining this tooth up with this tooth down here and this tooth here with this one here. We can see that that tooth is sticking up in the middle. We want to mark it as well. And then of course, mark it all the way down. And the underside. We're gonna use our hammer to drive our bearing on. Washer here. Now that everything's marked, drive it on. other bearing and that's ready do the same thing to the other side if you haven't already hit the like and subscribe button please put our timing mark on our bull gear here You want this to be 180 degrees out, just a single tooth. You're gonna mark down the side as well. Sorry for all the background noise here. It is extremely hot in Georgia, and it's extremely hot in this shot, and we do not want to turn these fans off. Now we're gonna build our synchronizer. Springs. Just a little bit of oil around it. And on the other side. Alright, set that to the side for a minute. Alright, we're going to start putting some of this stuff together. Washer first, bull gear, we're going to push down here, kind of pull up, you should feel a little bit of a gap there, if you're not feeling a, a bump or a little bit of play, there's, there's something wrong with your washer or both washers or maybe your bull gear or something, something's happening there, alright, our bearing here, You get a long roller and a short roller. Short roller goes to the top, big to bull gear. Take 
Missouri drive gear. And put some Loctite on this. I don't know if you see this, but it's got a little dial right here. That dial is going to go in the back hole. Now I mark two teeth here. And you want that to be 180 degrees out. We're ready to start assembling this. You can go ahead and put your spacer on here, by the way, too. I kind of want them to wedge for right now. I don't want them to fall straight through. I don't want to drive them all the way down. Like that. So I try to, I try to wedge it. G251. You can buy all these tools from G&W Tool Company. Top side of your bearing again. Move your fork to the side. Put a little oil in this. Two cutouts towards this hole. I've got a lock tight. Line the cutouts up with the yoke bar with the bolt holes in the fork. And throw your bolts in there. All right, they give you this little bit of silicone lubricant in the in your gasket kit, gasket no ring kit. Take this, squirt some of that in here. I also take a little bit of oil and put it in here. Take your piston, put that all over that O-ring. Like that. Now I take a little bit more oil and put it in here. You want that to be nice and slick. Nut on. 15 16. You grab your cap gasket. Put it on here. Making sure to line up your little hole there. Same for the cap. Hole to hole.
making sure that you put the correct gasket on. I know I need a thick gasket, not a thin, on mine. These housings change. Tone wheel in. Now you want to put some anti-seize on this. goes in this direction with this hole facing this way. Put a wall on it. Slide in. This goes this way. All right, we're going to add a little bit of oil in here. Maybe glob some of this silicone lubricant in here. Add a little O-ring perimeter of this. Also a small O-ring that's going to go there, just like that. Oops. to bolt this back onto the truck y'all didn't see me put the speedo in there but this is a four pin in this and it's a k4151 don't forget your two bearing races those are going to go into the front box housing before you stab this back box back onto the transmission also you're going to need this k2805 that's a shim kit um These are tapered bearings, so they have to be shimmed. You're gonna do that once you stab this onto the transmission. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. We're trying to push a lot of content out here, and this is gonna help a lot of truck drivers and a lot of new mechanics out here. Thank you very much for watching.